unless I'm missing something, which I could be because uh, I'm an idiot. All right, goes without saying, spoilers from this point on. So if you have not seen the episode yet, go check it out then. Come back here and talk about it with me. I'd love to have you. Let's dive in. So starting with some of the good stuff, some of the stuff that I really, really enjoyed this week. The acting by Elizabeth Olsen and Paul Bettany was incredible in this episode. I mean, it's been incredible the entire series, but specifically in this episode, especially the last like five minutes. I mean, when Wanda is resetting Westview, and Vision is getting ready to die again. Third time he's died. It's gotta be a record, right? I think I think he leads the MCU in deaths, but hopefully he'll be back. But man, regardless, this was hard to watch. I mean, this was so, so sad. I definitely didn't cry, but this was, uh, this was a tough one to get through, that last scene between these two. We also got to see Monica Rambo in action, you know, not, not too much, but uh, just enough to showcase what she could do, so what some of her powers were. I don't know too much about her character, not, not don't know enough about her comic book origin, but it seems like from what I read, they portrayed what she was capable of pretty accurately, at least uh, in a, on a small scale until she gets maybe a bigger role, which she might be getting because it looks like she's going to space to, I don't know, Fantastic Four? fan four stick Is this it? Is this the fan four stick that we have been waiting for? Please tell me that this was a hint. They've been teasing it. They've been teasing it the whole series. I really hope this means something. But I'm excited to see what she does regardless. I hope it's Fantastic Four though. And we gotta talk about Wanda's sick new costume. This, I don't know who does wardrobe for this show or who designed this, but this outfit looks phenomenal so so well done it really seemed like they took her original costume which we did actually see in the show uh well you know in some capacity we saw a take on the original costume but it really seemed like they took that and tried to modernize it into an outfit that a super mega all-powerful witch would actually wear and they kept her little scarlet witch crown which is great because sometimes that's the kind of stuff that they take away they just decide it looks too goofy but i appreciate that they stuck with it stick with me here we're gonna go through some of the things that i thought were maybe not fantastic and um the cgi in this episode was a little all over the place now, don't get me wrong sometimes it did look like usual high quality marvel but uh other times looked a little too close to CW level special effects, which I'm not gonna lie, it did pull me out of it a little bit at times. It was really clear where they had to cut some corners. And I think if anything, this accidentally perhaps exposed that Marvel didn't give this show as big of a budget as they might've needed. Maybe they didn't, they weren't sure if this show was gonna be as successful as it ended up being. Some of the visuals in this episode, although most of the times they did look really good, we had a few, you know, Black Panther moments where you're like, what happened here? What went on when they were putting these special effects together? As someone who does think the show is actually at its best when it's not filled with set pieces and explosions and big, you know, superhero battles, this was okay. I don't mind the direction they went. I think that the show is usually better when it's kind of weird and creepy, uh, but I understand this is Marvel, this is kind of what they do. And it was still a good finale, still, you know, great epic fight scenes at the end of this episode, but at times throughout with some of the vision stuff, some of the special effects when people were flying or going through houses, uh, eh, you know, could have uh, could have been a little bit better. Also the Pietro reveal, I don't know if this is just me, it felt a little bit cheap, it seems like, unless I'm missing something, which I could be because uh, I'm an idiot, but it did seem like he was just a regular kid in the town who, was recast as her brother. I guess I uh, Agnes was controlling him. I don't know. That was a little got a little bit muddy towards the end there. I don't know if they kind of ran out of ran out of time to elaborate on the whole Pietro thing. So it's what I got out of it. It's not Quicksilver from the X Men universe. Unless it is, and they decide they want to retcon some stuff in this episode, which is okay with me. I would love it if it was him but it seemed like it wasn't. We'll wait to see. We're not gonna criticize just yet. There's always a plan with Marvel. Usually there's a plan, and I'm hopeful that they understand what a reveal it was and what a shame it would be if they threw it out as just a random character in the town. I also really liked the episode had consequences. I mean, the entire series seemed like it was elaborating on grief and what somebody goes through when they're grieving, but it made sense that 
Wanda did a lot of really bad stuff here. She held a lot of innocent people captive in her perfect little sitcom utopia, and it made sense that towards the end, she had to lose everything she had created, including her kids, including Vision again, which you know has, can't be getting easier. I mean, she's died in front of her three times. This, is, this has really got a sting, but at least this time, she had a, a little bit more of a fitting goodbye. And we gotta mention that little Easter egg Wizard of Oz where the car gets thrown into the house and Wanda looks underneath and the little witch boots are there. Ah, oh, great little shout out to that film. Really appreciated it. Oh yeah, that's everything I got. The finale has come and gone. It's a great episode. Fitting end to a really, really good series. Very, very excited the direction these Marvel TV shows hopefully are going this show is any indication and i appreciate you guys checking out these reaction reviews they've done surprisingly well for a small channel like mine and i appreciate all the support if you like the video consider leaving a thumbs up subscribe i make reviews every week that's all i got for you guys today i'm out